Hey stars and welcome back to Just Vista. I'm still here with Zero Glam. So um, I've been trying to do some requested videos. So I'm back with another one. We had Cheryl Latrice. I'm sorry if I said your name horrifically. Um, wanted to know more about my flares and about my present prison zone usage. So here um, on the NHS which I should have spoken about in my last video. They offer prednis alone, which is basically the same thing. Um, I did a little research, because you know I'm a research queen. It is literally um, how your body metabolizes prednisone into prednisolone. So I'm guessing prednisolone just saves your liver a little bit of work. So the highest dose I was on was 50 milligrams that was hell I only stayed on it for about a week I could only sleep for two hours at a time I had the worst night sweats or hot flushes and mood swings um intense insane hunger which probably explains my new size um yeah it was not good but it, it helped me onto the road to recovery which I am grateful for so she also said we are the scar twins biopsy scar twins but that muscle biopsy scar is the most irritating scar I've got um, other operation scars I've got two on my leg and nothing beats that I don't know what's wrong with it it always hurts if I knock it I get shooting pains I don't know what's wrong with it but I don't like it. But anyway, that was that wasn't the question. So she would like to know about my flares. So I've written about flares on my blog, which I will link down below. I'm very keen for you guys to get reading my blog because I do spend more time and effort writing my blog post, whereas here I just turn the camera on and stop chatting. Hence why there's a lot of arms, arms, just see me looking around, trying to figure out what the hell I'm going to say. So, um, I don't know. I could try scripted, but I'm not really great at remembering lines. So, but anyway, focus, Jim, focus. So, for, with my flares, I can often tell when I'm gonna get going to a flare. So if I overdo it, that's from exercising to staying up too late to making myself overtired, I'm gonna go into a flare, which means my legs will be weak, I'll feel fatigue, nausea, headaches, um, sometimes stomach upset, um, vertigo, vertigo is not cool, vertigo I just feel like I'm just spinning, um, what other symptoms I get when I think, obviously pain, intense, because I have polymyositis, I get intense burning pain in my muscles, I get muscle spasms, which I get those when I'm not flaring, but a lot more when I am, breathlessness, palpitations, chest pain there is a flare is just not nice it's horrible swelling in joints aching in joints i think that's everything but as you can guess it's just not it's not a pleasant experience so i can trigger one of those you know lovely flares by definitely overdoing it so what i try to do to avoid this is weekends i only try to plan one big thing so if i'm doing overtime that weekend so i'm working on sunday i do nothing on saturday i stay in bed on saturday if i've got a party to go to on saturday i'm doing nothing on sunday you get the picture in the week i literally write make content write blog posts instagram posts um stuff eat go to work and sleep that's that is what I do like I'm really really big on conserving energy people ask me to go out or do something I'm like nope because as you can tell from the symptoms flares are not fun so being boring staying at home in bed is a gazillion trillion billion I don't even know a number large enough 
them feeling like that. So I definitely take it easy, super, super easy. Um, the weather, there's obviously nothing you can do to control that, but the weather definitely, definitely triggers flares. I know a lot of people with lupus are photosensitive, which I am not, praise God. I do get heat stroke a lot easier because before I could stay in the sun all day. I've never been a big fan of sitting in the sun. If you speak to my auntie, she would say when I was little, she'd always have to make me a tent. Like all the other kids will be in the paddling pool and I'll be in the tent eating my ice cream. I not really a big like sun worship or anything like that. Plus I'm so melanated already. I don't need to catch the sun. You know what I mean? So I get flares when the weather, basically when the weather changes or there's extreme weather. So if it's really, really rainy, I think it's probably to do, a lot of people say it's to do with the pressure. It's like, I don't know, the bar barometric, bar I don't even know the proper fancy word. But to do with the pressure. So yeah, weather will make me flare. Um, I find being in the sun, not like worshipping, burning um the heat probably more the heat than the actual sun helps in my symptoms although not too much humidity like with me everything just has to be just so like i can't stand up for too long i can't sit down for too long i can't eat too much but i have to eat enough like everything has to be like in balance for me to feel good so um yeah Mainly whether overdoing it, what else causes flares? Stress. Stress causes flares. This is why now I try not to argue with my boyfriend too much. I'll say what I have to say and be done with it because stress makes me feel sick. I feel like I'm going to throw up. I get a headache. I feel nauseous. And then if we have argued, then by then he's just like worried that I'm going to pass out or he needs to take me to hospital. So argument's over by then anyway. But um, yeah, stress, stress is a major trigger. So whether obviously is no control over, I cannot do anything about that apart from maybe move to somewhere warmer, which is definitely a consideration. However, you know, the NHS is really, really keeping me here. Also, I don't even want to move out of my area because I love my rheumatologist that much. So yeah, so I just try to take it easy, limit stress, if work asks me to do too much overtime, I'm like, nope, sorry, as much as my bank account would appreciate it, health comes first. So, um, yeah, so I limit stress where possible, also limit overdoing where possible, you know, sometimes you just have to do things, sometimes there's stressful face situations you can't avoid, and that's what the weather does, whatever it likes. So, yeah, those are the three times where I can know when flares are going to come up come on but don't be fooled there sometimes i will be flaring i have no idea why i don't know if i ate something because i know a lot of people say these things are related to food i don't know if it's something i ate i i just don't know sometimes i'm just flaring for no gosh darn reason so yeah there are many times when i can tell you what caused my flare other times I'm completely clueless. So I hope this guy uh, video, you know, helps you You've got kind of an idea of what causes flares or what causes my flares. It might be completely different for you. And I hope I answered your question. Um, leave your video recommendations down below. It really helps because I get stuck for audios out here sometimes. Um, and I'll see you in my next video stuff. Okay, guys.